how to become a best seller on Amazon. It's much, much easier than you think. And this video is ridiculous. I, I wasn't gonna post this, but I thought, why not? And this video I've taken directly from our Azon University course. So you'll see when it starts playing, this is directly the exact same video from the course. And I'm not gonna do this very often. I'm probably not gonna do this again, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna show you the exact video that we have in our course that shows you how to get a best seller on Amazon. It's gonna be amazing. But before I show you this, let me just quickly tell you about a live workshop that we have. We are doing it on the 16th of May at 11 a.m. EDT. Josh is going to be hosting it. I'm gonna be there as well. Um, it's gonna be a live workshop going through the, um, the Azon University formula, um, giving you some tips and help answering all of your questions that you could possibly have about Amazon and um, showing you some incredible, incredible students' um, success stories. Like, I mean, truly incredible stories. And if you are interested in joining us there, it's completely free to join us there. Um, the link is like over here, um, or it will be the top link in the description. Definitely, definitely join us there. But enough of that. Let's get right into it. And this video I'm showing you is a video Josh made for the course, because me and Josh both make videos for the course. Um, this is a video Josh made, and honestly, I hope it blows you away because it's truly incredible. Best seller secrets. The only way to get a bestseller is to get the most sales in your category. There are two ways to trick the system into giving you a bestseller. First, you have to compete in a category that gets less overall sales, i.e. change your category. Then. You have to boost your sales using the marketing avalanche methods. This combination will get you a bestseller really fast. The first step, of course, is to change your category. You can do this in the admin backend of your page. Sometimes you might have to send a help request into Amazon to get them to change the category for you. We will show you exactly how to do this. When the category changes, you should do a price drop strategy for two to three days. You can boost it further by doing a giveaway strategy and running paid traffic to the page. This boost in sales in a brand new category will launch you to bestseller status. So this technique really, really works. When you change your category, it's almost like you're a new product in that category. If that category happens to be a less competitive category, which is the goal, you don't want to be going into more competitive categories. You want to be going into smaller niche categories. And then if you do the sales boosting techniques, then you've got a massive amount of sales, probably more than anyone in that small category. And that, of course, gets you the bestseller status. When, once you do have the bestseller status, it's easier to keep it because people keep buying your product because you now have a bestseller badge. So the first step to a bestseller is to change your category into an easier to rank category where you're more likely to get a bestseller using all the sales avalanche techniques. So first go to Amazon, find your inventory page, head on over to your page, go into edit. And this is how you change the category just based on the page. You go into vital info and right here you've got recommended browse nodes. So you can see we are in pet supplies, dogs, grooming and combs. So what you wanna do is a little bit of research and look in to see what other people are ranking for as well. So you can see perhaps there is an easier to rank niche that you can use. Let's just close that because that opened in a different page. Uh, let's open a few of these and let's see what they are ranking in. So this is just uh, the same one we are. Let's have a look, see if there's any others. This part might take some time. So here you've got uh, home and garden, garden outdoors. So that's an interesting one. Technically it's an used for outdoors. Here you can see also they've got home and kitchen, pet supplies, dogs, grooming. So you could do a little bit of research and find uh, a product. This is a bestseller. What are they a bestseller in? Let's have a look. They are bestsellers in, oh, here's a good one. Demating tools, rakes. So they've gone into demating tools or dematting tools, which is like a de-shedding tool. That's an interesting one. These guys also have a bestseller. So let's look at what they have. The best thing is to do is to find all the best sellers because they're gonna show you all the different categories that people are using this technique on. So these guys are a bestseller in grooming dematting tools. That's directly from grooming. These guys are a bestseller in grooming shedding tools. That's also a good category. These guys are grooming brushes. So the other one, we are in combs. So you can see there's a whole bunch of different categories that you, go, you can go into. So just click edit here. 
go into find your category so let's look at pet supplies we got dogs and there was a category in here I did a little bit of research and I found within flea lick uh, lice and tick control there is combs right so it's for a different purpose but it's for combs and the reason I like this one is because very few uh, or none of the top uh, bestsellers were bestsellers in this one because this is was, was a completely unique one so it might be really easy to compete and get a bestseller in this specific area and since we are selling a comb it is allowed to say that we're using it for this purpose so we just select that we select the category and now you can see we're in this very deep category of dogs flea lice and tick control combs combs very very deep category and we are much more likely to get a bestseller if we get a whole bunch of sales we'll probably get a bestseller because not many people in this category are going to get as many sales as we can push so we'll get a bestseller rank then that bestseller badge will show on all of our listing pages on all of our ranking pages so we will fly up for everything and then if you want to later you can go ahead and compete in a even bigger category like dogs combs that would be even better so you click save and finish and that should update your category now, sometimes it doesn't update, even within 15 minutes. Make sure you do wait 15 minutes or a few hours. I like to wait 24 hours before confirming whether it's changed. But if it's not working, you can always do this, which is a workaround. You go into Help, and you click Contact Us for Amazon. So you're, you're now getting Amazon to change the category for you. You say you're selling on Amazon. You then go into here, and you say you request product page change. You can say issue with a product listing or product page product page problems. You want to fix a product page. You then search your ASIN number. So you get it from this page right over here. You search this. It should find your product. There it is. And it would ask you what you would like to fix. It will also ask you why should we accept your updates and you just say other reason and you type it in over here. You can say category over here and then here is where you find your category and actually this is a better location for research if you notice this had a search box and when you changed it on the admin page it did not so you could search comb here and it'll tell you many different categories so here you can see pet supplies dog grooming combs here's the one that we liked and this is actually how I found it before because I just went into here so you can see flea and tick combs or just combs so let's do this one because it's dogs flea lit lice and tick I keep saying lick and combs so you select that one and they say why should we accept your so okay they've already said we have reviewed your suggestion and accept your proposed category change well that was quick usually you have to just submit that <laughs> so that's uh, that was faster than I expected now let's say that doesn't happen because that's obviously a best case scenario let's say you have to write a reason request product page change fix a product page search and let's say you have to write a reason I always recommend saying other reason if you say authoritative website proof you have to give websites if you show product images you have to show images other reason and the other reason is always I feel like this category best represents my product after looking at other products in that category Category. The first category I chose was not specific to this product. So that's a simple reason. You're basically saying that my product is better suited in this category because that's what my product is for. And all Amazon wants is to give their customers what they buy. So if you're saying that this is a better category that represents your product, then people will be more likely to buy it in that right category. So that's better for Amazon. So this has always worked for me for changing categories, even if they don't accept your category on the first page. Sometimes you can see they accept it immediately as soon as I select this and I tell them what I want to do. They just like, okay, great. It looks the same um, because I've already got keywords in the back end of the listing. People, you can easily see that it's a dog comb, what it does. So if I choose a category that's related to that, they will automatically change it. So that is how you change your category. 
As soon as you have done that and your category has changed, you can start doing the sales avalanche techniques, uh, start Amazon ads, Facebook ads, Google ads, do a giveaway, do a price drop, do as many techniques as possible to get those sales rolling and you will fly up to the top of this little random category that you've selected and you'll get a bestseller in that category. Then you can start to slow down with the promotions and change your price to a normal price and hopefully you will retain the bestseller. If you don't retain the bestseller, just go ahead and do the technique again and it does work again. If you found that the the category you selected, you just can't get a bestseller in, try and find a more sub-niche category, something like we've just found, a really, really small sub-niche category or consider upping the game on your giveaways and your promotions and your ads just so you can get the sales avalanche rolling even faster. So that's all for the bestseller. This is the... Uh, this is how you can launch into a bestseller category, uh, into a bestseller in your category, and you will keep the bestseller status and stay at the top of Amazon and get a hell of a lot of sales, and it's quite amazing. So enjoy this technique and have fun with it. So that was that was the video. How insane was that? Josh wanted me to cut it short and um, and then tell you that if you wanted to watch the rest, that you'd probably have to buy it or something. But I was like, no, just this once, specifically just this once, I want to give the entire video on how to get a bestseller because I know how important this is. And I know how massively it affects sales and um, your um, your conversion rates and all those type of things, especially also just for you yourself, to be able to tell someone you now have a bestseller on Amazon is the best feeling ever. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope you enjoyed what Josh made for the course. And, and if, if you wanna watch more videos from the course, you can. The link to the course is down below. Um, if you wanna take the course, you can do that as well. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about it. Don't forget to subscribe. And before I end off this video, I just want to remind you of our class on um, the 16th of May at 11 a.m. Um, um, EDT, we're gonna be doing an um, Amazon University workshop, we're gonna be going through the formula of Amazon, some tips and tricks, um, we're gonna be answering all of your questions and telling you some incredible stories. So we really, really wanna see you there and hopefully we will. Thank you so much for watching.